I'm Jess. Thanks for joining me for today's lesson. Have you ever seen trash floating around in the ocean? Or dark gray fog sitting over a city? Do you know that both these things that you may have seen are a form of pollution? Pollution is a small word that describes a big thing happening to the environment and to your health. Pollution is when something is added to the environment that is harmful or maybe even poisonous to living things. This something could be gases, smoke, or chemicals. And when they are introduced to the environment in big doses, this can make it dangerous for humans, animals, and plants. Some forms of pollution are visible to us, and others the naked eye can't see. For example, we can mostly see water pollution, but we can't see noise pollution. Our wonderful planet has an atmosphere that is made up of many different gases. These gases are usually the perfect amount because they are perfect enough to encourage life and help us breathe. But, because we are constantly making new technologies in different factories and industries all over the world, we are constantly introducing new chemicals into our atmosphere, which causes an imbalance in our environment. You may have heard of global warming, which is the name for the increase in Earth's average temperature over a long period of time. Global warming is the most known effect of the introduction of new chemicals into our atmosphere that has caused a great imbalance in our environment. You may have heard about an increased number of wildfires and the shrinking of glaciers. These are a result of global warming, also known as climate change. So pollution is the process of making our environment unsafe. Our environment includes soil, water, air, and noise. And all of these things can be polluted and affect our health. Soil pollution is a huge problem. Soil pollution is when there are harmful changes in soil due to people and companies dumping harmful and toxic pollutants, such as chemical waste, into landfills, which then decompose into the soil. You might think the only big companies that turn out a lot of products daily are the ones who contribute to soil pollution, but we do it every day too, in our day-to-day -day life. If you think about how many people live on Earth, think about how much trash they could produce. There are roughly 7 billion people on Earth, and just think about that amount of trash made by 7 billion people. A lot of stuff that we throw away is toxic to our environment, like plastic. Plastic contains chemicals that can leak into the ground and pollute the water that we drink, even going so far as to reach our oceans, rivers, and lakes. As trash decomposes and the chemicals inside of them begin to seep into our soil, this can really be harmful to the environment. Soil can easily become polluted by general household garbage that we toss away, as well as industrial waste. Industrial waste is the term for waste made by big companies. Usually it's single-use plastics that are the main culprit. And a lot of companies make a lot of them. According to the University of Utah, big companies use 4 million pounds of materials in order to provide the average American family with products they need for an entire year. 4 million pounds! Most of it is classified as non-hazardous, such as wood, concrete, bricks, and glass, which are materials needed for construction, as well as items needed for hospitals, such as bandages and surgical instruments. But industries still make hazardous ways for manufacturing pesticides, mining, and other chemical production. When you or someone else takes the trash out and the garbage truck comes, where do you think the trash goes? Your trash is brought to what is called a landfill, where it is buried in soil and left there to decompose. Decompose means to slowly break down, and that means it slowly breaks down into our soil. So that means trash is decomposing into our soil. This is a dangerous thing because most of the food that we eat is grown in soil. And so if the soil is contaminated, people can get sick from eating food that is grown in contaminated soil. This is why a few companies are trying to adopt practices that help them to minimize waste, and why we at home should practice the three R's. These are reduce, reuse, and recycle. If we minimize the waste that ends up in landfills, we will help to minimize the contamination of our environment and keep everything healthy. We should stop using plastic and use items that we can recycle and bring them to recycling centers once we are done. Then, they can be reused and made into new products. 
This is a very effective way to manage our waste and keep them from reaching landfills and contaminating our soil. So now we know about soil pollution, but have you heard of water pollution? Water pollution happens almost exactly like soil pollution, where toxic substances are introduced to a body of water, contaminating it. And because we need water to survive, having unclean water is a disaster. Not only does this affect us, but it affects fish and all aquatic life. Water pollution is caused by people carelessly throwing trash into the ocean, as well as ships that carry oil having accidents, spilling oil into the ocean, which pollutes our waters. One oil spill took place when an oil tanker hit a reef and spilled over 11 million gallons of oil into the ocean. That's a lot of water pollution. Did you know that there are islands of trash in the Pacific Ocean? That sounds weird, right? But there are islands made up of trash in the ocean because of littering caused by mankind. The most popular one is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is a collection of trash in the North Pacific Ocean. But there are several more. Not only is water pollution caused by littering, but it can also be caused by sewage, pesticides, and fertilizers from farms leaking into waterways. Water pollution is a huge problem. Researchers believe that 783 million people do not have access to clean water. Having sewage and drinking water can make people really ill, as it contains germs and viruses. Another type of water pollution is nutrient pollution. This is when nutrients such as nitrogen are added into bodies of water, and not on purpose. This happens when sewage gets into the ocean, or manure from a farm somehow leaks into the ocean as well. The nutrients act as a fertilizer and make algae grow way faster than normal. This makes the algae block light from other aquatic plants. And this lack of light makes the plants die. And because plants create oxygen, if they die, there's a lack of oxygen in the water, which in turn makes aquatic animals die. Sometimes, water pollution can affect the entire food chain. Small fish will absorb pollutants in the water, and when the bigger fish eat these smaller fish, they then get the pollutants into their bodies. And then, birds or other animals might eat these fish. And then, they have the pollutants in their bodies. Another form of pollution is air pollution. Having smoke or dust in the air is really, really bad for your lungs when we breathe it in. This can cause asthma, as well as other respiratory issues. Toxic smoke that contaminates the air mostly comes from vehicles such as cars, planes, and trucks. These vehicles use fossil fuels, such as gas, to fill up their tanks, which provide them with power. If you ever notice smoke that billows out of the exhaust of a car, that is carbon dioxide. And because there are so many vehicles in the world today, we are adding way too much carbon dioxide in our air and atmosphere. It isn't just vehicles, though. Factories that make many products that we use every day also add to air pollution. A common type of air pollution is dangerous gases such as sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and chemical vapors. Once these dangerous gases are in the atmosphere, they can have chemical reactions, which can cause things like acid rain and smog. Yeah, you heard that right. Acid rain. Acid rain is created when gases such as sulfur dioxide are blown up into the air, and when it rains, the sulfur dioxide gets washed out, causing acid rain, which can damage forests and kill fish. Air pollution also contributes to global warming. This is through carbon dioxide, which is a gas that is released by the burning of coal, natural gas, oil, and wood that traps heat in the atmosphere, which is increasing the Earth's temperature, causing major damage to the planet. This increase in temperature is slowly melting glaciers, which causes the sea level to rise, threatening the safety of coastal areas. Global warming also causes other changes to the Earth's climate, including more wildfires than usual, harsher droughts, and shifting wind and ocean patterns, which are all referred to as climate change. And last but not least, you have noise pollution. Imagine living next to a building where the people next door are continuously partying and making noise. You wouldn't be able to sleep. And not being able to sleep can actually make you sick. A lack of sleep can affect your immune system. Studies show that people who don't get a good enough sleep or enough sleep are more likely to get sick after being exposed to a virus. Noise pollution can affect the environment as well. When sound from planes, buildings, or other sources reaches harmful levels, this can interfere with sleep, making people stressed, affect their hearing, and even their blood pressure. The Clean Air Act was introduced to help control machine and plane noise. 
Researchers found that noise pollution contributes to hundreds of thousands of deaths per year because it increases stress levels, which can become dangerous for your heart and lead to heart attacks. Noise pollution also impacts the health of wildlife. Wildlife researchers have found that loud noises cause caterpillars' hearts to beat faster and bluebirds to have fewer chicks. Did you know that you can get underwater noise pollution? Noise that comes from ships has been shown to upset whales' navigation systems. Noise also makes wild species communicate louder, which can shorten their lifespan. As you now know, there are many different types of pollution. But as pollution grows, ways to combat it has grown too. People are introducing solar energy and wind energy to help power their homes in a clean and sustainable way. This helps to put less carbon dioxide into the environment, which is great news for not only us, but wildlife as well. In order to be environmentally friendly and help stop pollution, you can start recycling and stop using plastic materials as much as you can. Carpooling is also a great way to help keep vehicles off the road, or even using buses and trains. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining me and see you next time. We are thrilled that you're watching Blue Studios 24 seven. We're so excited to bring round the clock entertainment and educational content to your home. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. At Blue Studios, we aspire to revolutionize the way families spend time together. We empower families by providing them with tools to work together, earn and learn, and achieve new heights of success. Visit www.bluestudios.io to discover more about our mission and how we empower families to succeed. Thank you so much for being part of our community. Keep watching and learning with us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.